could try something slightly different today and we would do a review on Twitch and see how it goes and then you guys can see it first and we'll port it to YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much. Now today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing a Xenomorph and this is a special edition 7 inch collector's item. Indeed, and if you look, this is from a company called LT Lanard, which is pretty cool, and uh, it is a Xenomorph drone. So that looks pretty cool. So get to know your Xenomorphs. There's the eggs, face huggers, chest bursters, runners, which are also known as dog aliens, but that might have been a copyright thing. Soldiers, and of course the queen, and no doubt they'll do more coming up. I think there is some different changes to this one. There is some white aliens here and there, and I believe they are in the Fireteam Elite game, which we've been playing as well. So that's pretty cool. So this is a special edition, uh, action posable, alien Xeno, highly detailed design and sculpt. And this is based on the first alien film, and of course, aliens. Here's some of the different ones you can get. There's the warrior alien there, which is the blue one. The uh, drone that we're gonna have a look at here. And you've got the dog alien, and I have seen the queen as well. It's massive. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And let's have a little read of the back. And uh, calling all corner marines, get ready to gear up and take on the most fearsome creatures to inhabit the planet LV426 and beyond in this epic space battle, the dreaded xenomorphs have multiplied in a vast numbers, threatening the lives that inhabit space colonel marines, reaching the far ends of the universe. Gather your crew to take on fight and other eradicate the ever growing numbers of these terrifying aliens. So there you go. And of course you've got the dog tags there as well. They look pretty cool and Let's have a little look at the background here. I really love the packaging, sort of retro design. It's almost like a sort of a new release of the ones that came out years ago when I was a kid in the uh, early 90s where it was like a bit frowned on and, oh my goodness me, why are children playing with aliens toys? Ugh. But yeah, hey ho. But yeah, there we go. So fully posable action one. Also comes with specimen feature details and it comes with a face hug uh, and an egg. So let's open this up and have a look. Welcome everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope you're all okay. This is suitable for seven plus years, believe it or not. So here we go, I really like the packaging. Lots of vibrant colors there, the sort of dirty sci-fi green, and the sort of uh, DC comics, and well, of course, Black Horse in the day. It reminds me of the Black Horse comic book run, and of course Aliens and Predator are now owned by Marvel because of Fox. But this very much harks back to the black horse kind of details that used to be there when they were there with the Dark Horse comic books where it was very gritty. And uh, I'll never forget one of my favorite crossovers with Aliens was Aliens and Judge Dredd. Believe it or not, that's pretty awesome actually. Right. You can tell I'm tired because it's taking ages. Apologies for that. Right, here we go. Now, I might just gut it because I am gonna open the box, so I'm sorry, guys. If you're wincing and you like to keep collectibles in the box, I totally understand. I used to be like that, too. <laughs> right, here we go. Now, okay. There we go. Right, here we are. Ooh, the shinies. Oh, and look at this. Oh dear, very nicely packaged actually. I must admit, that is a really nice box that I've now just disintegrated into bits. But yeah, that is a really nice box there. And uh, really cool, look at this. Right, I'm gonna be gentle here, because this is the alien drone. Right, let's have a little look. Oh, what's he doing? But yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, let's have a little look. Ah, uh, tags. Right, here we go. At the back. Right. Should have brought some scissors with me, shouldn't I? That would have been sensible. Okay, there we are. Right. Okay. Right, here we go. There we are. I'll 
have a look at the face hugger in a bit. Now look at this, wowzers, look at that. That is an awesome piece of collectible. Oh my goodness me, there's a little sticker on here, I'll just take that off. Right, look at that. Wowzers, look at that. That is a gorgeous little collectible there, fantastic. Look at that, so this moves here, look you can put the arms and the legs in different poses as well. Nice bit of uh, articulation there. So you can have it like that. Oh, brilliant. The mouth opens and shuts there as well, giving you a clear view of the mouth inside there. That's fantastic. And you can move the hands up and down as well. And look, even though it's a bit stiff, which it would be, you can move the legs, which is great. Look at that, that's fantastic. So that is an awesome piece of kit. Look at that. And I think I'll be able to do some really nice pieces of artwork and drawings with that. And I don't know if it comes up on the screen that well, guys, but there's some lovely uh, detail on the teeth there with all silver. Actually, yeah, if I put my finger behind there, it shows up a bit more. Look at that. Great detail in the mouth and fantastic. Look at that on there as well. That is awesome. And I love the fact that there's the little extra tail there. You don't usually get that in the uh, games or the figurines, so that's great. Yeah, and lovely detail on the exoskeleton there as well. And look at the head there. This is a really nice collectible, a really nice price. This was £10 from Smith's, and they do do other ones as well, but the boss said I should get the £10 one. God bless her. And I think this one is gorgeous. And I bet the five pound one has got just as much great detail as well. There's several different ones you can collect, as we said. There's more than that though, so I think they're gonna build on the collection. But I think there's at least five or six different ones you can get now, including the Queen. Wow, so there's detail here as well. You can move it to the sides and left like that. I think that's great. Wow, and, and it's on like a rotator as well. So that's really cool, look at that. So you can rotate the alien, you can rotate that, you can do the jaw, you can move the head. That is really great. The tail has good maneuverability as well. That is fantastic. Really love that, that's epic. So this toy is fantastic and I would definitely pick this up again. I'm definitely gonna be collecting these that is great, look at that fantastic articulation there in the legs and the arms and everything. I really think this is a great piece of kit. The horns at the back are fantastic and look at that detail there, that is awesome. So I would give this a good solid eight out of 10 for money worthwhile, articulation and everything. It is fantastic. Now let's look at the egg quick before we go. And of course, the face hugger. There we go. Now look at the detail on the face hugger. Look, there you go. That is great little detail there. Well made at a really nice price. And it's got the egg there as well, the chest bursting egg. Fantastic. So it would literally sit like that. That is a lovely little collectible. That is fantastic. So yeah, I really rate these and I'm gonna try and collect these along with the Venoms. They're really cool, I love these. Indeed, look at that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you guys later. This is totally epic. Thank you to everyone that's joined me for this video, watching live and of course, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much. This is a fantastic piece of kit and if you're a fan of Xenomorphs or Alien, or science fiction in general, I definitely recommend it. Please don't forget to check out the streams if you haven't already, either here or on YouTube as premieres. And I really do appreciate all the love and I'll see you next time. I will show off the next one when we get it and I might do some toy reviews of my Venoms as well. Thanks very much for watching. And bye for now, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone.